Can I double stack my jars in a water bath canner? That's the question for today. Hi there, my name is Sharon Peterson. I'm with simplycanning.com where you can find home canning tutorials, tips, and classes. Come visit me there and I will help you get your pantry filled. Today's canning chat question is regarding double stacking jars. So most people know that you can double stack your jars in a pressure canner, but let me tell you that briefly first. If you don't know that, you can. What you need to do, um, a pressure canner rack looks like this. It's in the bottom of your canner. You put your first layer of jars. You're gonna put another rack on top of that with your second layer of jars and then you go ahead and process. If you're using a water bath canner, you're gonna do the same basic thing, but there's a couple things to keep in mind. Water bath canning rack looks a little different. It's like this, sits on the side of your canner and you set your jars in there. You're gonna lower those jars into the water and then you're gonna need something for that top layer of jars to sit on. It needs to be secure because you've got water rolling and you don't want those top jars to get jostled around and knocked over. One thing that I would suggest you could use is a pressure canning rack. It's the right size, it'll fit right in there on top of those jars, and then you can set your second layer of jars on top of that. Now keep in mind with water bath canning, the water does need to completely cover the top layer of jars by a couple of inches so that there's room for that water to boil and those jars don't stick up out of the water. So most likely, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna do it with smaller jars. You're not gonna be able to do it with quart jars because those jars are just gonna stick up out of the top of the water and you won't have, um, it won't be deep enough. Um, the other thing is make sure you have a full load of jars in that top layer. Well, actually in both layers. Because the water is rolling, um, I would worry about those top jars getting jostled a little bit and if they tip over, then that's not a good thing. So if you don't have enough jars for a full layer on that top layer, Maybe just put some jars of water in there. Something so that they're they're in there and it's all full and they're not gonna just be spaced to where they're floating around and, and getting dumped over. Well, they don't really float, but you know what I mean. So that would be my two tips. Make sure that, you, that the jars are fully covered and then make sure that they're in there securely. They've got a nice base layer, like a rack, to keep them level. I hope that was helpful. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you next time.